Hello, this is Jack with Gadget Factory, and today we're going, going to take a look at simulating VHDL code with the Xilinx ISE Webpack software. Um, we'll be simulating the AVR8 soft processor, and the AVR8 soft processor will be running C code that we'll write in the Arduino IDE, and we'll update the AVR8 project to pull that code in, and uh, this will allow us to debug not only the AVR8, but it will also allow us to debug any custom peripherals that we write um, in VHDL or Verilog and that's connected to the AVR8 soft processor. It's really, it's also really useful for exploring and learning about the internals of the AVR8 soft processor. Um, look, let you look at all of the insides of the project, uh, look at waveforms, what happens you know this part of the project when this command is being run it's, it's really pretty interesting okay so to start out uh, you're you're going to want to go to the papilio.cc website and uh, there's a couple prerequisites that need to be downloaded so uh, go to the download page you want to download the papilio version or the specially modified version of the arduino ide ide uh, this adds support for the papilio one board you also want to download the latest source code for the AVR8 soft processor and you also will also will want to have the Xilinx Webpack uh, ISE software installed you can download that directly from Xilinx okay so once you have all those pieces in place uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the directory where you've installed your Arduino IDE um, and if you go under hardware and then tools butterfly platform and there's a make file in here we need to modify this make file to enable the simulation okay so if you go to the top of the make file and you find uh, the papilio underscore sim statement make sure this is by default this will be set to false um, if you want to do the simulation set this to true and then also make sure that this path is correct uh, this is a path to the AVR8 soft processor the location where you placed it uh, the default is C just right off the C the root of C okay so once we have that uh, in place and updated we can go ahead and start up our Arduino IDE um, and for this example we're going to use the uh, the source code for the the custom core now there's an example and I'll place a link along with this video that has already been there's a video that's already been made that shows you how to add your own custom user core and connect it to the um, AVR8 so that it's in the IO space and you can just directly access that core. Uh, now this is the sketch that shows you how to actually exercise that core, how to access the core. Um, we want something very simple so we're going to just go ahead and base our code on uh, this sketch but we're going to com out, comment out uh, the majority of what it does so everything in the, the loop will comment out we'll also get rid of the serial portion all we're going to do is we're going to write to a register in our um, custom core so this this should generate some very simple C code that it will be very uh, easy to follow along um, once it gets uh, turned into machine language and we have to get at a pr pretty low level and follow along with it uh, this is simple enough to, to be really easy to follow okay so let's compile this um, I'm going to hold down the left shift key on the keyboard while I do this so that we can get the verbose output and this will allow us to actually get the directory where everything is going to be compiled so uh, if we really need to look at things this is the directory where all the files are at 